Hey everybody, thanks for dropping by. Today we wanted to do a product review on a jumbo crochet hook. I have wanted a super big crochet hook in my tool collection for some time now, and as luck would have it, we were out on the weekend and my husband and I popped into a Michaels and they were carrying some under the loops and threads label. This is a solid wood 25 millimeter or a US size 50 jumbo crochet hook. Um, it was $12 Canadian and that's not on sale and I think that's fairly reasonable given that it's wood, has a nice finish and it's a novelty item. We actually went through them all in the store <laughs> to feel them, um, but they're all relatively the same. The only place where you might find a little bit of roughness or slight burring would be here in the hook part where they've had to cut into the wood. Uh, this one's really smooth though, and if you did manage to get one that had a little bit of roughness, it's nothing that you couldn't fix with some sandpaper or even a nail file. So far, my only real complaint about this hook is the depth of the hook itself. So if I stick my finger in there, you can see that it's not even as wide as my index finger. I realize it's a wooden hook, so they couldn't make the it couldn't go in too deep into the neck area because that would have weakened the hook itself and then it may snap if you're using it. But I really would have preferred a deeper hook, especially given how big this um, tool is, just so when I'm working with it, I have more grab. Um, and so that so far is my only real complaint. The fact that it's wood, I also sort of shied away from initially uh, because I have a pair of jumbo size knitting needles, also a 25 millimeter, and they're plastic. Um, they're not very heavy, which is great because obviously when you're dealing with a tool this large, um, you're already <laughs> having to work a bit differently than you normally do. And you don't want something that's really, really heavy because it'll kind of bog you down. Um, so when I saw that this was wood, I was a little concerned, just thinking it might be kind of too heavy. But if I compare the weight of this one hook to the weight of both of these plastic needles together, it's actually a little bit heavier than both needles, but not so heavy that it would be a problem. And in fact, I found the weight of this hook was actually useful when I started doing some experiments with it. When it actually comes to using one of these, you're gonna have to change how you think about crochet a little bit. It's sort of like if you've always used a standard sized hook, and I'm talking like a five and a half millimeter or six millimeter, and not necessarily an ergonomic uh, grip, you hold it and work with it a certain way. You have to change how you hold your hooks when you go down really, really small to the steel hook size and you're using thread. And it's the same thing when you get really, really big. So if you're the type that holds your crochet hook in the pencil grip, you're definitely gonna find this a bit tricky and you may want to change how you hold a jumbo hook. If you're like me and you already hold it in the knife grip, um, it's not that big of a change, but you may find that the way you wrap your yarn and how you hold your work to get the right tension is gonna have to change a little bit. In fact, I fiddled and messed around with mine um, for a little bit. I used some leftover Bernat blanket yarn and this is nine rows by five stitches across in single crochet. That's what that looks like. So the blanket yarn, if any of you have used it, is a thicker, it's probably a bulky weight uh, yarn and that's what it looks like if you're single crocheting with the jumbo hook. Now it's a really cool looking um, pattern. It's That's just single crochet. It doesn't look like single crochet does usually. But when I was first getting started and I was chaining and I was uh, fumbling around <laughs> with the hook, I found that I was having to think about how I held the hook and how I wrapped the yarn so much, I actually forgot how to do a single crochet. <laughs> um, but once I got the hang of it and once I got kind of into a bit of a groove, I found using it wasn't that difficult and my tension um, evened out pretty quickly. So don't shy away from the use of the giant hook if when you first pick it up and start messing around with it, it feels very cumbersome and even clumsy. Overall, my impressions of this jumbo hook are very positive. I like the aesthetic of it. I like the feel of it. It's wood, so it's already warm to the touch when you pick it up. And 
Although I would have liked a slightly deeper hook, I'm thinking maybe the inline design isn't possibly the best design for this hook. They maybe should have gone with more of a, a shepherd's crook, but it's not that bad. And once you get used to having to sort of change your method of crochet, you can actually start zipping along pretty quickly like you normally would. So overall, I recommend having a hook like this, especially if you just love crochet and you love to experiment with different sized yarns and the textures that you can get just using simple crochet stitches, but something really novelty sized like this giant hook. If you'd like to give a jumbo hook project a try, then let me know by clicking on the like button and leaving a comment down below. I have to say, upon uh, first impressions, I kind of get a real kick out of the way this turned out. So if you guys want to try something, then uh, let me know and I'll put my head to it and I'll see what I can come up with. Because right there, that's just plain old single crochet using blanket yarn and I already think it's got a really cool meshy kind of look to it. If you don't have a Michaels nearby, or your local craft store doesn't carry jumbo sized hooks, we've gone ahead and found some links to some you can purchase online, and we'll have those available on the shop page of our website. So if you look in the description box down below, you'll find a direct link to our website's shop page, and you can sort of scroll through that page. We'll have some links there, along with some links to some other handy craft supplies that you can get online. And that's it! I hope you found this review helpful, and we'll see you soon on the Jaden Stitches Show. Until then, stay safe, stay crafty, and have an awesome week, everybody. Bye.